Hey, the Fox should be live. Oh, that's nice. Don't even have to change the window size. Just gotta scoot it up here. All right, cool. I am. So yeah, we're doing some XCOM. Yes, Anima Unknown. Um, single player. We should probably stick with normal since this game's known to cheat sometimes. But not not really cheat, but it gets pretty fucking brutal. What's this? Why the range of damage, funding. Huh, that's interesting. Don't think I should do any of those though. We don't need a tutorial, I've already played this. Okay, let's do it. We'll just watch this intro, it's pretty short if I recall. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Arthur C. Clarke. Yeah, that definitely wouldn't have like fucking killed that guy with shrapnel. Juan Burrito. What I'm thinking I'm going to do for the names is everyone in chat can get one. Once we go through, they can customize it, choose their name, whatever they want. You do get to be one. Everyone gets to be one. I'm going to try my best to avoid save scumming unless it's like a point of no return. So if you die, you die. Was he playing this game? Since I don't want to steal it from him if he is. I feel really bad about that. Like I said, I was gone for like a month, so... Did the drinking of this? Once a long time ago. Okay, I hope he won't mind if I pick it up then. Hello, Commander. In I wanna? Of the okay. Extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. So hang on a sec. They're activating the project. Which means that they already had the project in place. Which means they already knew there were aliens. Why did they wait to activate it? We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Plot holes already. Shit game. 1.5 out of 10. I suppose, yeah. Contingency plan. Good luck, Commander. <clears throat> XCAM. Enemy unknown. Okay, cool. That would be quite nice, Mr. B. Alright, so where do we start? We can be in North America to get 50% less, or er, 50% discount off of air and aircraft weapons. Um, if we start in. We get a uh, discount on laboratories and workshop ma maintenance. I'm having trouble saying words right now. If we start in Asia, we get future combat, which means all projects in the foundry and officer training school cost 50% less. South America, um, autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly. Oh, that could be nice. And then Africa, monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. Okay, so I'm seeing Euro, Africa. China. Hmm. Split down the board right now. Merca, oh god. So that's one for that. One for that. One for that. And one for that. South America is just left in the dust. Oh, hang on a sec. You go away, please. There we go. Euro? Okay, two votes for Euro. Looks like we're going with Euro, which is basically more monthly money. Oh yeah, why would you why would you ever pick Africa if you can get this? Since I think this will pay off more by the end of the game. Since you'll save more than 30% on laboratories and workshops. Alright. Yeah, Slunky, like I said, everyone's getting... Everyone in the chat right now and possibly in the future is getting the character. Yeah, it does pay itself off in the end. So yeah, I'm thinking Europe. No complaints. No complaints. If there are complaints, fuck you. This is Vigia Britannica. France is sending an urgent mission request. France. 
Alright, let's do this. We don't need to see these guys. No one cares about them. They're all getting plastic surgeries. Okay, so you can move up there. Don't do anything yet, since this guy's gonna move all the way up here. Okay, he can overwatch, I guess. You, sir. Go up there. Odds are one of these people's gonna die. I mean, four rookies. Things are unlikely to go well. Okay, you can move up here. Oh, still no sign of them. Where are they at? Doesn't tell me. Great. Um, hmm. I doubt they'll be back in that corner. Meaning us somewhere inside. So, you, good sir Joel Rice. That's a very American name. Oh, still nothing. You know, this music reminds me a lot of the submachine games. I'm not sure if any of you guys played them, but when I was little, those games were my fucking life. They're like point-and-click flash games online. They spooked the shit out of me. Uh, that was probably a mistake. Yeah, just a little. Okay. Yep, this lady's dead. Rest in peace, lady. Okay, 25% chance to hit. Save her life, man. Thanks for nothing. Negative damage. Overwatching could have been good, but I'm pretty sure I take an aim penalty from that. Better just to shoot, in my opinion. Now this guy can overwatch. Okay, so he's buffing that guy. Or not. He's just shooting. Ow! Oh, wow, she survived! Okay, lady, you are one lucky fuck. You get all the way back there. Oh, reaction shot. Bloody missed. Whew. Okay. Now you, my friend. Um... Now let's go for it again. 25% chance. Roll the dice. Okay. Probably not my best idea. Um, you keep moving forward. Don't I have four people? Oh. Samad! What are you doing all the fucking way over there? I'm moving closer. I'm moving closer. Don't worry. I didn't want to piss off any more that were on Overwatch, though. I like to keep everyone in one consolidated line moving forwards. So that was good just to get everyone together. Now he shoots. Misses horribly, just like me. Wish I could hide behind that pole. Ugh. See, the problem is I have to sprint to get anywhere. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I should just do it. So you get back there. Smod, where's a good place for you to hide? Yes, in the fiery rubble. Great place. Oh, how can you shoot both of them? Still 25% chance to hit. Oh, 45% chance to hit that guy. Which one's the one giving the buff? It looks like... I think it's this one. Come on, Samad, roll the dice. Yeah. I think that was a worthy gamble, personally. I know I may have wanted to get a little closer, but a 45% chance to kill both of them at the same time, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, lady, you can just hunker down. Rice, what are your chances of hitting 45 guy? 45, okay. I'm gonna go with that. God damn. Okay, now they're switching the buff around. Pretty sucky, but whatever. At least I can split the XP up among the crowds. 
Who are you shooting? Oh god, Samad! Holy shit, Samad! Dear lord, rest in peace. We hardly knew ye. You are not here yet. We are still stuck on the tutorial mission. Thank god, but it didn't kill him, of course. Okay. Let's move up a bit. Should probably just sprint somewhere closer to them. Yeah, up there. Okay. And Gerard, you're sort of gonna... Ah, oh, man. Just Overwatch, I guess. Please don't flank me. What? Wow. I'm not sure why you would ever try to shoot him since he's all the fucking way over there. Don't flank me. You just got yourself flanked. Okay. Why why did you shoot him? That was that was such a mistake on your part, Alien. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. So ah oh man, where can I get to? Oh shit! I thought this was the last last set. Well this is very bad. Um Okay. We can fire on that guy, forty five to hit. Let's go for it. Yes! Finally! Oh my god, that is one long-ranged buff. Oh, hello. See, I don't want to throw grenades since then that destroys um, that destroys the goodies. All right, come on, Gerard. Holy shit, Gerard! Just went fucking ham at the end. Good lord. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, come on, just you lost to the operative, but I expected that. May Samad rest in peace forevermore. Okay. Now let's just skip that. We don't care about landing. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. Thanks, Bradford. Role in this project is twofold: providing tactical support for our field operations. Really gave us tactical support there. Situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Yes, thank you. We also have a funeral to attend to. But who's counting? Wish to be heavy with rocket. Unfortunately, I can't. Well, there's a heavy, so you can be Osvaldo Rodriguez. The heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service okay. to the squad. Okay. So that can be the you. In tow. There are and okay. Experts. So basically, if you haven't, oh my God, so Bradford, shut up. Provides that intangible edge our squads need. Bradford, I know this. Please. Oh my God. And the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, so here we go. We got Julia Gerard and Osvaldo Rodriguez, who are our two upgraded units. Um, I can't choose what people get upgraded into. Oh my god, shut up. I'm not going to the research lab right now. I can't decide who gets upgraded into what, nor can I choose gender, but everything else can be changed, aside from nationality. Um, so, if you want to be one of these dead people... Anyone want to be a female support unit? Well, okay, Mr. Bean, you want to be the heavy with the rock, so let's get started on you. Customize. Do you want to be Mr. B? There we go. Um, you want the heavy? Yep. Uh, so, we got all these races. We got white, black, but you can't see it because of the helmet. Uh, I think Asian? Uh, Indian, maybe? Another dark skin. 
Another helmet. Please get out of the way. Another white. White with beard and gilly hair? Is that the weird, yes, like... Commander. Yes, Commander. Oops. White race, please. Stop it with the helmets. One. Okay. I presume by gilly hair you meant... Um... Commander to the research this. Labs. Commander to the research labs. Okay. I'm going to presume that's what you mean. Uh... Skin color head. And what colors do you want to be? And then, also hair color. And then we can move on to someone else. Black armor. Oh, and which deco? Deco. Decoration, whatever. Um, one, two, or three. Black and or purple. I'm gonna just use this color to find something. Two. Commander to the research labs. I'm not sure if there is a black. Wait, one? Okay. There's purple and yellow. Yellow and purple. No black, though. Oh, well, this is black. Doesn't really look black, though. It's more of a dark gray. Oh, here's black and white. Let's go with that yellow and purple. And I didn't catch it. Uh, what hair color did you want? There may be a big delay, so you might want to refresh. Okay, yellow purple, which is this one, or purple yellow, which is this Commander one. To the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Okay, this works. Okay. Yeah, everyone may want to refresh since I know that there's some big delay with when people stop streaming and then someone else starts streaming. You've kept refreshing? Okay. Maybe it's something on my end then. Who knows? Anyways, I'm gonna assume you're fine with black hair. Oh, okay, yeah, she keeps fucking saying that. I don't want to go to the fucking research lab, lady. Christ, I'm giving this man plastic surgery. <laughs> Just, Commander, please! Please! I'm, I'm so lonely! Uh... <laughs> Research the command to the lab, just something, man. Okay, uh, Mr. B, I'm going to presume you're good with this. Let's let's go to the research lab so she shuts the fuck up already. Yes, hello. Your robot was bothering hello, Commander. me. Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun... Oh, really? Looks like a high-tech facility here. With the aliens. Based couple of microscopes, findings, couple of screens, a big room, to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. an assault goon. With your approval, <laughs> they have these diamonds now. Yeah, thanks, Nazi. Um, you might be able to be an assault goon. Uh, it all depends on how things go. Uh, Commander. Hey there, old man. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything yes. we can dream up in the research labs. We can build it here. Good for you. You want a medal? Speaking of which, you're not going to get one. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Thanks. <laughs> just make the super armor from the beginning of the game. Yes, that is a possible thing. Okay. Um. Who wants to be made next? Name all the medals. What do you mean, name all the medals? Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. mission control now? Christ almighty! There, mission control. Happy? Oh no, mission control. Yes, that, that is what I went to. There we go. Okay, so Slunky, you're up next. I can't promise that you're going to be an assault goon, but I can promise your nationality and gender. Or sex. So we got Mirka, Britbong Landia, and I'm really bad with flags, so I don't really know anything else. German. What's the German flag? Yeah, I feel bad. Oh, is this the German flag? I think we have one German. Wait, you can name. You can name the medals that people. I, I'm confused as to what you mean by name medal. She, actually. Yeah. Uh, one German is a woman. 
Marin is a German one? Oh, Martin. Oh yeah, this is the German flag, isn't it? Yeah, I have no idea what she is. So yeah, Martin, you can be. That's Belgium. Slunky McGee. Okay, whatever. We're just, we're going with this. It's good. Jeez, not in and on. McGee. I see. Okay. Um. Oh, this is just the first name. Slunky McGee. Oops, three E's. McGee. Okay. Um. So same thing. Race. Voice. Well, voice doesn't matter. Let's just. That's your voice. Yeah, they all—they're all the same fucking look. Different colored stripes, and sometimes the stripes are the same colors. Red with a helmet, any helmet, and Type Three armor, and Caucasian. Not that that matters, since you can't actually see your skin with a helmet. Uh, what helmet should you have? Um, uh, we got. We got Halo. Halo Two. Not Halo. Small face Halo. Really small face Halo. Skull! Holy shit! That's spooky. Um, random Marine. Uh, Cyclops. Sad Cyclops. And Guile. Okay, you want Skull? Let's go with Skull. Um, and then you said Red. You got that Red. I think there's two Reds, though. Yeah, there's a brighter red. I do have some of the DLC. I don't have Enemy Unknown. Or Enemy Within, sorry. Bright red. Okay, I think that's as bright as we're going to get. Just want to be sure, though. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I think I, I think I just bought the Game of the Year edition or something during the Thanksgiving sale. It, I think it had every DLC except Enemy Within. So, all right, I think this is pretty good. Who's next? Since we can bring four people on a mission right now, and one of our people might not even be able to go on the next mission. They'll go next to Hubert? Okay. Um, you got Joe Rice. Pick any male, any male at all. Um, Mustafa. All right, so I'm gonna presume Hubert. Cumberdale. One, two, three. Yeah, no. This is Hubert Cumberdale. Um, so then, same things race, hair, voice, etc. Or not voice, goddamn. Race, hair, color, etc. Close my eyes and pick random options. Okay. You are Asian. Um, voice? Oh god, that cacophony. Alright, head, skin color, hair slash helmet, I really wish I could just like scroll wheel this or something. Okay, I guess that's your hair, hair color doesn't matter, facial hair doesn't matter, oh I forgot to give you a beard Mr. B, I can just go do that really quick, armor deco, All right, you got that. Oh, I accidentally started doing armor tint. Uh, okay. Oh, plain white. That's boring. We're gonna keep going. Black, plain black. Oh, oh, I see. The helmet matches the color. Okay. Okay. I guess you can be this dark black. Wait, was that the one I chose? No, that was the one I chose. Yeah, black and yellow. Yellow. Perfect. Um, uh, Mr. B, we're just going to go back in and give you a little beard really quick. And who's up next? <laughs> Such impress. Uh, facial hair. Uh, oh, that, that looked like a man beard. Oh, no, that was just... Like, we're, I'm looking for a full beard, like everything. Ooh, ooh, that was close. That's probably as close as we're going to get. Let's go with that. Okay, who's up next? We still have to do 
Not in Anon. Um, not in Anon. You can. Who do you want to be? We got Joe Rice, Harry Turner, Connor Kelly, Adriana's. But unless you want to be a woman, I'm not sure. Up to you. Doesn't matter what he looks like. He must remain anonymous. Jesus. Everyone's anonymous except Mr. B. Okay. Well, since none of that matters, um, hair slash helmet. So we've got the various halos. <laughs> Everyone's a red shirt, yeah. Okay, so various halos. Uh, let's let's give you let's give you a halo that matches your color. Oh, I think they might all match your color as long as you change it around. Yeah, they all match it. Um, so you don't care about the color or anything? First name, not second name, in Anon. Don't care about the deco, the deco, decoration. Now let's let's make you. You are the enigma. Um, you can be a turtle. Yeah, there we go. The one with the yellow glasses. Uh, you mean for the helmet, I presume? I think there's two yellow glasses, though. There's two that look like that. There's this one, and there's that was option one, and this is option two. Both look pretty good. Let's stick with this for now, unless you want to change it. Uh, I like the turtle. I think we're good here. And that gives us a full team of four, but one of you is dead. So One. Oh, okay. So the option that is not this option. This one. Okay. Alright, I think we're good then. So... Alright, uh, so that gives us one, two, three, oh wait, one, two, three, four. Oh wow, two people have left. Who left? So sad. Magpie? Magpie left? I was going to make Magpie. Okay, the people who I still haven't made... We'll be back in five days. Yeah, I th odds are that, um, odds are nothing's gonna pop up within five days. KXZ, I see you're around. Um, Herbert left. Oh, Herbert left. Why'd Herbert leave? He's just about to go adventuring. Um, who haven't I done? I haven't done myself, but that's okay. Slunky, I've done. Slunky, Mr. Bean, on and on. And Herbert were the four. So, KXZ, I'm not sure if you're there right now, but if you want a person, may you break your silence. Well, right now, everyone's an expendable mook, except for Mr. B, so. Herbert had to write a paper? Okay. Who's available? We have, um, basically everyone except for... If you want to be a woman, we have Julie Girard right here as a support unit, but everyone else is a rookie. I really wish you could change what people, or choose what people upgrade into. Will be quite nice. Mr. B got lucky since he wanted the heavy, and heavy was one of the ones we got from the first mission. British flag guy. Okay. <laughs> the Irish one. I honestly I can't recognize the Irish one because um because I'm very bad at flags. But okay, so what do you want to look like? We got. Space Marine. Oh god, everyone's a Space Marine except Mr. B. I suppose the best way to make a Space Marine would be with this armor. Uh, armor tint, let's just match that up. So yeah, color and this helmet that you're on right now, perfect. Oh, that's true, Mr. B. That would actually be really funny, Slunky. I mean, he is one of the only two people who have been... Or one of only three people who have been damaged. Who's the one survivor, actually? 
one who got out unscathed. Since Samad died and you two got hurt, Armored Echo 3, which is this one. And then color. I really like how vivid a lot of these colors are. It chooses what you don't have. Okay, that's cool. Go Team Mook. Team Mook, led by Mr. B. Yeah, these are all the colors. We got the couple of absurd ones. Yeah, no, I don't think it can be a mech. You know, these are the absurd ones. Purple-yellow, cotton candy, and yellow-purple. Though, is this... This is more purple-green. You go with 10. Okay. 10. Alright, the black armor. No, you might be, like, completely indistinguishable from one of our other guys. <laughs> Just realized. Okay, so, we got not a non. Wow, I, I really beefed that. Not in a non. KXZ501. Flunky McGee. Mr. B and Hubert Cumberdale. If someone has to sit out, it's gonna have to be Hubert, or Hubert, since he's not here right now. Scan for activity. Up, oh, but Commander, no one's sitting out this time. For Abductions and are <laughs> Team Clusterfuck, oh boy. Um, so we can go to London and get four scientists, but it's moderate difficulty. We can go to Australia and get 200 bucks, but it's easy. Mm. And then we can go to Canada. Canadia. And get four engineers. Uh, I'm personally feeling uh, Canadia over here. But United Kingdom could also be good. Canada! Yeah, let's go with it. Alright, so. Recruit McGee. Recruit Inanon. <laughs> Recruit 501 and Recruit Cumberdale. I like how he's one of your friends. Okay, gotcha. Well, thanks for bringing him here. I like how... Okay, first off, um, Cumberdale and KXZ are the exact same. And second, um, not in the non. His last name makes it so that his like, in-game name is the exact opposite of what he is. Oh, too good. Okay. Nothing we can do about this unless we want to bring in some random person. Let's launch. That is awesome. Thank you, Mr. B. <laughs> Strike one. See, I love that fluorescent red. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Canada. All right, now. Aside from me being more careful, there's literally no reason this mission will go any different. If one of you dies, expect it, is pretty much what I'm saying. Can I get up there? I can climb those pipes, can I? Yeah, I can climb the pipes. Not that I'm going to, since there's no cover, but... So, Overwatch. KXE, you can head over here. Ah, oh, there they are. Hiding way the fuck back there. It's just Overwatch. Um, Slunky, you're sort of in bad shape. Um, I would send you to here, but I'm scared there's going to be aliens up in this area. And I would love to get through this mission without casualties. I suppose this makes a good hiding spot. Oh, and you can actually shoot. 45%, we're not going to get much higher than that until we get up close. So let's go for it! Man, dude. No way that just, just take us out, call in an airstrike, fuck it, I can't deal with this. Uh, Slunky, man, you failed us. We were depending on you there. Uh, so, should we... Oh, man. Hubert, I don't want you to die. But at the same time, there's not really another useful spot for you to go. Let's just scoot. Let's do it in two steps. Like that. And then like that. Okay, you're okay. Woo! Now he's getting buffed. 
Yep, which means if I can kill the alien who's currently in the shadows, they go both go kaput. Oh boy, KXZ, KXZ! Oh man. Two-step movement's probably the best, yeah. What's he gonna do? Who's he gonna shoot? He's shooting at Slunky. He missed terribly. Holy shit. Alright, Slunky, you can probably take the first shot. 45% chance to hit. Yeah, sounds good. Jesus Christ. Slunky. Your fucking accuracy, man. Okay, see, you can shoot from here. 45% chance to hit. Let's take him out. Actually, you know. Oh! Shit, never mind. I thought we wouldn't since he was being buffed. Right, Mr. Cumberdale. You can chill there. Well, good ol'. Who's this? <laughs> Alright, 45% chance to hit. Let's go, not in and on. Shit, going ham. Yeah, I'm gonna go for scopes as soon as I can. Those are, like, by far some of the most useful. Either them or the nano vests. At least in the early game, obviously, there are better ones later on. So, Cumberdale, you're sort of left with nothing to do. Um, let's just two step movement over here. And there's nothing. Okay. I really wish I could see where they are right now. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of you have played this game before, but uh, when there's an alien and they're making their turn, there's a chance that you can like hear where they are. Little sound waves come. I'm going to presume they're in or around this building. But I'm not going to be taking any chances, since that's what got poor Samad killed last time. Yeah, vests are always good. Um, Cumberdale, I guess you can just um, head over here and then duck behind this thing. Mr. B, Mr. B's not even here. Uh, yeah, Mr. B doesn't exist in this one. He's still reco um, recover operating. Maybe not in none. You should head up to the roof. That is a single movement. Climb the pole. This is probably going to end badly. May as well reload while we're up here. Yeah, you're by far the most conspicuous. KXZ and um, Hubert, they both blend in really well. That's true, you are colored in the way that many action heroes are. Okay, see, you can just... you should probably back up Slunky. So you both move together. Where are they? Oh yeah, they're over here. So... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what happened. Don't worry, Red Ranger's good. Okay, you chill like that since I get the feeling these two are about to piss off the aliens. You, ah, there they are. Forty-five and forty-five. See, I really don't want to use grenades. Plus, okay, our bazooka guy's gone. Shit, KXZ! Or no, was, was that Slunky? That was Slunky, never mind. Shit, Slunky! Cumberdale's just over here, I, I don't even know what the fuck he's doing. I'm happy with shooting, we still haven't been hit yet. KXZ might be in a bit of trouble, though. He's gotta get behind something. I can dash up to there. Or I can dash up to there. You can just give overwatch, I guess. Ooh, can I throw the grenade down there, actually? Uh, it does not re... <laughs> doesn't even come close. Yeah, I think KXZ... Hmm. See, if I get too close, someone's gonna get shot, and that's not good. But if I hang back, it might lure someone out into... 
his range, or not someone, might lure this guy out into his range, not in the non range, so that he can fire. So KXZ... Uh, if, if it was just one square farther ahead, this would be perfect. But unless he is not. Instead, you go back there and I guess Overwatch as well. Cumberdale, I really don't want to deal with the aliens on multiple sides. Wow, Slunky. That is just so rude. Oh no, Slunky. Okay, car's on fire. Fiery cars are not on my list of favorite things. Um, pretty sure that's out of the blast radius. Forty-five to hit. Let's go. Holy shit, Slunky! Good lord! Fucking sharpshooter! Well, I have no complaints. I really couldn't have gone much better. And everyone was promoted, except Cumberdale. Slunky, you are a run and gun. I think that's what you want him to be, the assault. Not in non, you're a sniper. And Kexi, you're a shotgunner too. And Cumberdale, he, he just fuck him. <laughs> not actually, he seemed like a cool guy, but... His character is not being friendly. We will be in touch, Commander. Okay. I'm supposed to go to the situation room. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan uh, our Okay, I'll launch one in the UK. Hmm. Hmm. I'm feeling the UK to decrease the panic while also staying under inter uh, interceptor coverage. I don't know. I've got Hmm. You guys think I should go with it? Or go for it, rather? Since there's also Australia. Both these places are just freaking out right now. Plus 100 per month. 100 to plus 60 per month. I'm receiving you. Yeah, UK should I'm take first contact, priority. But I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. What contact? What are you talking about? Yeah, satellites are definitely top priority. The question is where. So let's go over to engineering. Here. Also, I'm gonna just really quickly minimize that. Oh god damn it, that doesn't You guys happen to know in live stream Oh, they stop abduction missions. I did not know that. Ah, I need one more engineer for the satellite uplink. Um oh yeah, do you guys know by any chance, how to hide those green bars for live stream? I tried minimizing the little what's it, but that did not work. The Procaster control bar. Also, um, what can we buy? Nothing. Though, hmm, I think I want to start building a satellite, maybe, just so I have one. Commander. Our current satellite uplink facilities Maybe I should build two. We should build additional uplinks as this is probably a smart idea. For new I, I, I don't actually know, though. It does require engineers to build them. Uh, maybe I'll just go with one for now. Oh god. Build 20, yes, I can afford that. Let's let's just start building that one. I'm still having a hard time grasping what Oh, I forgot to start a research. To accomplish here. Are they studying? Okay, so we can go for the scope I or the armor. I'm feeling armor personally. Survival is the number one priority. Yet. In my opinion. Let's just view the memorial. Rest in peace, Rashid Samad. I think we're good to go now. Start scanning again. In fact, yeah, seriously, you are like such a fucking good sniper. It's ridiculous. Alright, and Mr. B is back. The United Kingdom. 
All right. Research complete. Let's start work researching uh, weapon fragments. Or maybe I should do xenobiology. This technology has <laughs> oh god, yeah, that's right. You were the sniper, the and now you have the shotgun. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. That was quite swell, Mr. B. Um, I think we're good on everything. I can't build any, any what's-its right now. Here we go, scramble interceptors. Launch Raven 1. Can I name the planes? We, we don't care, it launches. Good for it. We have eyes on the bandit. Oh boy. Wow, that was a pathetic UFO. Hey, everyone clap! Hey. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central left. All right, people. You know, it would actually be really cool. Uh, really cool if you could like design trick shots like that for actual shotguns in games. Not actual shotguns in real life, but like, say you're playing Kawadudu or something. It doesn't change the shotgun's damage or anything, but it just leaves an S bullet hole or something. That's that's a bit more unfeasible. Do aliens even have testicles? Don't answer that. Um, on one hand, Cumberdale could be nice to train him up. On the other hand, Mr. B, I would not mind you returning. So, in the pattern of a hammer, I remember a TK's wave, which fired in a wave pattern. Never saw the... Okay, so... Never saw the hammer one. Yeah, let's go with this. Launch mission. Oh, that's true. Well, too late now. Oh, well, it's, it's like right fucking there. Never mind, let's just return to base and fix that. Yeah, that's actually a good idea, though. So, slanky. You can get out. Yeah, it's like, it's like two meters away. We could drive. We could walk. Um, okay, Hubert. <laughs> yeah, we get there and somebody's just like, ah, nah. Nah, take me back. Alright. Let's hope Cumberdale doesn't end up being an assault. There we go, begin assault. Our target site is near the German border. Thanks for the analysis there, Bradford, or whatever the fuck your name is. Alright, let's, let's see the crew. Not on leaves the... Ch okay, well, wow, thanks for the horrible camera angle game. Check Z can take point. Uh, okay, you just chill right there. Mr. B... You can, uh, what can you do? You can, um... Yeah, I know I can turn it. I just generally don't bother. How far away is the alien crash site? Okay, it's there. I think that's... Is that it? No, that's just a pole. Where is it? I guess that must be it. Well, great, we've been told to go to the crash site, and I don't even know where the fuck it is. Good start to mission. I'm thinking I'm gonna... Well, someone should be sent up here. For sure. Just... Let's have you go all the way over there, just see if there are any aliens, and then over to here. Not in the non. You can, um... Where the hell is this crash site? Oh, is it? I think this is it. No, those are... Is that it? No, there's no way. Ah, oh, whatever, we'll just explore. You can just head over here, and then up here. 
<laughs> Fuck, Slug, you Slug, you had the map. God damn it. And then Cumberdale. Cumberdale, you're the re the recruit, the rookie. So you just follow KXZ around. He'll show you the ropes. Well, okay, so burning log, that seems promising if we're looking for the crash site. Where in God's name is it? There's a crow. That is one big ass crow, holy shit. It's fucking bigger than our heads. <laughs> and, and like it's dripping onto the map which he's using as a napkin. Um. Okay, okay, let's see. Uh, not sure where you should go. Yeah, that's that's sort of what I was imagining too. Okay. Where in fuck's name is this goddamn UFO? I'm so lost. There's no way to really zoom out, I can just change the height. Oh, soldier info? What's that tell us? Just stats which I don't really understand. That's cool. So we can head over there. Mr. B, you can head up here. And not a nod. Just go step. And step. Here, let me take a look at the stats next turn, actually. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. I don't think we're alone out here. Good analysis there, not a non. Okay, so health, health. Will will is their chance of panicking, or chance of not panicking, rather. Offense is okay, I just didn't pay enough chance uh, enough attention. Melds? I'm not sure what a meld is, so... I mean, I'm only just starting the game, so anything late game does not exist right now. This is what, the fucking third mission? Second one out of the tutorial. <laughs> yeah, exactly! Like, what's... where's the fucking logic there, non and non? What are you thinking? What are you saying? Do you think before you speak? Jesus! Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's only in the DLC, since I did beat this game once. Jeez, non no, no, you're, you're the worst soldier ever! Jesus! Just leave! Yeah, if, there, if it's used for the mechs and stuff, there's no way I have that. Okay, yeah. Alien crash site is somewhere in here, which explains why I couldn't see it. Now, Mr. B, you can lead the charge up to there. Good lord, where is everything? Then down there. Non -na non, you can walk up there. Ah! What? What? What are they doing back there? What the fuck? But the, the crash site's there. They must have been moving around. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, shit. Um, okay. You should probably dive down here. Yeah, they must be the recon team. Okay, XA, you get into position. At least there's fucking something. Oh god, some more. What are they doing all the way over there? Overwatch. 
Okay, I don't think we're close enough to them. So there's those ones, and then there's some more to the top left, and they're buffing each other. From the sounds of it. No, I think Slunky was just saying, shit's going to hell really quickly. And he, and he managed to get off the plane at the last second. Oh, come on, KXE. Shotgun snipe, or not. Oh, yeah, I'm buffing each other. Boy, Nan, Nan, I really wish I didn't send you down onto that unclimbable cliff. We could really use some snipe sniping right now. Snifing. Okay, so there's you. Or we can finish the job with this guy. I like finishing the job. Boom! Toasted. Looks like he got a promotion. Okay, Mr. B. Anything you can do from up there? No. In that case, let's go down here. Uh, not a non. You can dash on up over there. KXC. Hmm. So there's that guy, but I, his friend's still back there somewhere. I think a scoot down to here, and then... Oh, what? KXZ, you're more accurate with a shotgun than Cumberbutt over here is with a fucking assault rifle. Alright, he's getting buffed from all the way over there. And he's shooting at Cumberbutt! Oh no! He must live. And then there's more! Yeah, this is why scopes, but I don't have them yet. Well, there goes Cumberdale. Rest in peace. Jesus Christ, they did not like him whatsoever. Come on, not and on. Oh, I didn't get the kill. Great, should have done a headshot. Oh, this is going to hell really quick. Come on, KXE, finish him. Yes, okay. Mr. B. Oh, you can shoot at him. 47 to hit. Let's go! Or not. What's he doing? Okay, I think it's just those two left. Yeah, and they're retreating. Okay. How is KXC so accurate with a fucking shotgun? Um. Can you hit him here? Oh wow, you can actually. Fuck, let's just try it with the pistol. Let's go not and non. Oh, it does up to two damage. Well, whatever. Shit, that accuracy. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty much slunky. Plus, plus, he's the one who took your place. He wouldn't be dead now if you hadn't left. Um, I can probably finish him off with a pistol. Possibly. Up, oh, nope. Well, at least it leaves it open for, um... Someone to finish him off. Probably not non since he's a bit behind. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy too. Ooh, that's bad. Don't fire on KXE. What are you doing? Where are you going? They're just moving. What? Alright, let's finish this guy. 55% chance to hit. And fucking pistol's probably gonna be a lot higher. Nope, it's the same thing. Well...
Yeah, I suppose. Well, I can. E we can easily flank this alien. That's not really going to be a problem, which is good. I will snipe. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm figuring this guy out. I'm, I'm examining the situation. Okay. Yeah, let's open with the snipe. So, the thing is that it's got the same accuracy, and a single hit's going to take this guy out. So here's what I'm thinking, actually. Move all the way up here, and then fire. There we go. Now KXC could run and gun, actually. I don't think anything's left. Yeah, let me do a step over there to make sure. Ah. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go, KXZ. We're doing this. Holy shit. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Crisis averted. Sort of, not really. Only one person died. We can be proud of that. It's killing time. <laughs> Burgle averted. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure there's only one thing left. If I remember correctly. Uh, reload. Rock and roll. KXC. We can just um, go over there. Definitely reload. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be sweet. Slunky. Um, well then, Mr. B, you can keep moving forwards. I don't like that the camera moved over there. I think it's okay though. So, good old nothing on, you can just keep chilling right there. Whereas Mr. B, you can keep progressing. There he is. If there were, that's a being of almost pure energy. Not none. You can't even come close to seeing him. I suppose I could throw a frag grenade to try to tear down that wall, but nope. How is... Yeah, how is pure energy even a thing? I just realized. <laughs> Alright, Mr. B, looks like it's, on, it's all you. You're on your own here. No one else is going to get there fast enough. Well, aside from the sniper, but he's a fucking sniper. Shoot rocket, I can't shoot rocket. You already finished all your moves. Um, dogs are about to start freaking out, sorry about that. Okay, I think an advisable course of action would be to send Sniper Boy down to here. Yeah. Now just hope he doesn't get a crit. He's going for sniper. Not in the non. Oh shit! You lucky little fuck. This might be time for a grenade or a rocket. Because I really. We can't afford to lose two people. <laughs> yeah, we're rocketing this thing. Rocket man. It only, it's only a 0% chance to hit when I go there, though. There we go. 
Did the DJ Russian guy the same? Explosives. Effective. I don't care. You just knock, knock, fuck nugget. You killed. You didn't kill anyone actually. You just dealt a lot of damage. KIA. No one leveled up. Hubert did, but KIA. All right. We're in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> oh God, Slunky. Okay. So we've got only four upgraded units right now who are still alive. Well, not alive, but they're still active. One of them doesn't exist. Like, they, they aren't a chat member. Um, I guess Magpie, she doesn't get to choose herself right now, but... Um, Magpie... What's her last name supposed to be, or gonna be? Um. Oh no, no! You know what we need? You know what we need? <laughs> Burdovsky. Yeah, let's let's do that actually. Um, customize last name Burdovsky. Um, hair color. Oh yeah. Armor tint. Oh, that goes so well with the hair. Actually, is the better hair? Red hair. Oh, that actually looks sort of cool. No, let's let's go with this green. You know, we might actually have to put me in, unfortunately. Um, what hair should she have? Uh, there we go. That looks like bird hair. A little. Okay. But here's what I just realized. Um, space squirrel. Uh, hair. What's the best hair for space squirrel? Yes, the hero returns. Oh, definitely this hair color. Uh, oh, that pink. That that pink. I like that pink. Yes, bright pink everything. Oh wait, no, it's not the hair. That's right. I wanted to do um, no, not hair color. The death helmet. There we go. Space squirrel. He has returned, and he's Italian apparently. He's actually Scottish. Um. Okay, so we have him, and then we make me. I'll be Mikhail. Customize first name, meow. Last name, talk. <laughs> Space Cicio Square Leo Violi. Uh, I like yellow. Poisonly. I like yellow and the default armor. But no, is there is there a better yellow? That's my question. I want a paler yellow. Well, like that. Perfect. More orange, but whatever. Hair. I don't know. Let's 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 break this helmet fad that we've been having. Let's go with uh, that hair. Sure. Not skin color. Facial hair. Oh, pedo stash, definitely. Where is it? There we go. Pedo stash. Uh, hair color. I like that red hair. Let's see how that looks. There it is. I like that. Uh, and then head. Let's change the head around. Um, hang on a second, guys. I might be interrupted really quick. Um, never mind. I'm good. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I like this. This is me. It's very me. Okay, so I think we have a good backup now. 
Nadanan will be back in 13 days. God rest his soul. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Coming on Okay, I was actually wondering, what's the difference between slingshot and random? I mean, clearly they're planes of some sort. I guess I'm going to go with random since it's original game. A politician from Australia, which is in panic, has now come under attack. We'd like you to retrieve this man alive so that we may speak with him. Oh, it's special mission? Huh. Well, that would have been swell. Excellent. Oh well, nothing we can do now. We look forward to seeing your progress. Okay. I think we should take all the big guys on this mission. All the big guns. All them out. It's an escort mission, so ugh. Prepare for deployment, strike one. It's time to shit. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next. Okay, I'm gonna save before this one for sure. The VIP for this operation goes by the name of William Thorne. He's an influential politician suspected of collusion with the aliens. Okay. We need you to bring him in. Collusion. Questioning. Get him to the Sky Ranger for evac. Yeah, so that's where the Sky Ranger is, I guess. Received. Okay. Okay, so where is he? Yeah, it does, actually. Which, you know, wouldn't surprise me, considering the casualty rates. Oh, that's where he is. He's following us. This is absurd! Do you honestly think I would turn my back on my country? Yes. I am not a traitor, damn it! You don't have an Australian accent, either. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's pretty much what happens, Lucky. Um. All right, KXC. You know, just cling onto this wall and open the door. Let's see what's inside. Looks pretty clear. I don't trust it though. Let's just scoot up to this car. Monkey, you do the same. Oh no, don't go inside! Don't go inside! Oh god! I hate that. <laughs> I mean, with you being essentially the head of the team, that doesn't surprise me. Okay, you go right there. Thorn, you just need to stay alive. That's your big thing. Head down. What does head down do? Just increases the defense. Magpie. Is it really? There's no way it's as easy as just bringing him there. Right, that's probably why we ignored their requests. It's just like, eh, they, they can handle it. Yeah, shitloads of ambushes. I'm not surprised. You are currently next to KXE in front of this truck. Alright, Slunky. You can probably afford to explore this area a little bit more. Make sure we don't get zambushed by aliens. The Thin Mints? Yeah, Thin Men. On Jesus's, man. I highly doubt <laughs> that that's a advisable course of action. <laughs> Just firing it down the road and hoping for the best. Um, Magpie, you're the support unit. I forgot to give you a med kit. That's probably bad. Um. Right, yeah, we can't tell them. <laughs> yes, yeah, if you if you keep whining, Slunky's gonna just do some of his tricks on you. Got it? I'm scared to move out from in front of this car. No joke. Okay, let's just run forward. There they are. Oh god, he's on the roof. Oh god, he's on the roof. That's bad. Um. Kexi, please don't piss off anymore.
They have poison clouds, that's right. Okay, it's all the way up there. See, but then, if I needed the rocket later on... Okay, Magpie, if you could get on the roof. Thank you. Uh, I'll keep having her move up. Oh, she's flanking him. Thorn, you just, like, get all the way back here. No, not there, goddammit. Mr. B. He's up there. I would put you next to KXZ, but then you'd likely get poisoned, so... Is the way to get onto this roof? Does not appear so. At least not from here. Um, could I fire the rocket up there, actually? Will... It could theoretically work if I changed my position. Oh, but now that I've changed my position, I can't fire the rocket. I'm a smart. Oh, and now, now he's down. And now he's flanking KXE. A little bit bullshit there. Oh, thank god! Okay, so now we can duck inside there, theoretically. Enemy in sight. Okay, there's another one. Oh no, that's a sectoid. <laughs> See, that would actually be a smart thing to do, in my opinion, use the vehicles more. Since so we've got this fucking Sky Ranger, you'd think we'd be able to do something with it. Come on, magpie! Holy shit! Okay, gotta remember, they explode into poison. That's not a thing that you want to have happen to you. Okay, is there a door back in this direction? There is. Let's just keep scooting up like this. And then overwatch. I will not speak to anyone until I'm given proper legal representation. Then please stop speaking. I mean, it's, it's sort of cut and dry here, bud. Okay, KXZ. Right, and that would probably work better than whatever the fuck we're doing right now. You can dash all the way up here, since I think it's only that sectoid, and he's already been dealt with. Sort of, not really. Alright, Slunky. The dude is being placed under your protection. Or, or an ice cream truck bell. That'd be my personal preference. Sexo takes a reaction shot! Don't do that! Wow, you are a... Actually, you came pretty close considering how far away you were, Sectoid. At least I know where he is now. Come on, Magpie! Beat the odds! Up oh, or not. I'll get him next time. <laughs> Soft serve and protect! Oh, the poison's blocking the ladder. Who's this who can dash? Slunky? Oh yeah, since you're in there. Is there any... Can you be of any use to me whatsoever right now? Not really. Here, just overwatch. Then you come over by Slunky and hunker down. Or head down. Overwatch. Mr. B, can you get behind any sort of cover up here? Yes, you can. Oh, wow, and you can shoot at him. Double scoop of fuck you! Right up your ass with sprinkling of buckshot! Why can't you fire? No targets available. Okay, that sucks. Alright, Mr. B, make it count! Or not. I'll get him next time. Shh. 
Oh no, KXZ! KXZ! Oh, he's panicked. This is bad. This is bad. Don't shoot. Don't shoot a friend. Don't shoot a friend. Okay, good. Yes, shoot him. That's a good thing to shoot. Yeah, that letter's gonna know better than to mess with you. Okay, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if Magpie can kill him. And if not, then I think it might be rocket time. Oh, come on! Okay, because he's panicking, so I can't do anything with him. Oh, this is bad. If this thing doesn't die, it's the end for KXE. So, shot is blocked? By what, pray tell? Okay. So I'm going to presume that the circle is the area of effect. Will this kill him? That's my question. I'm going to trust that it will. It will, okay. Uh, does not seem as though it killed him. Ah, uh, nope, still very distinctly alive. Well then. It's time for the slunky save. Okay, so that does that. That does that. Both 50% chance to hit. I don't get that. Okay. Slunky save, though. It all went okay. Mr. Thorn, you can just chill right there. Maybe it was because it was on a different level or something. Okay, KXE is in pretty nasty trouble. Since one more encounter with an alien and he's kaput. <laughs> yeah, you just busted down the door, came charging in out of fucking nowhere. Since, since, to everyone else, like imagine this was an actual mission, you just sort of buggered off into this building while everyone else was um, assaulting down this alleyway. And then you just come out of fucking nowhere and save the day. Well, Mr. B, you really sure taught this wall who was boss. First you... <laughs> uh, first you shot down this... Uh, first you shot at the ladder. Then you shot down the entire fucking wall, but the ladder... ladder wasn't having any of it. Uh, okay. Magpie, you keep moving down this area. Let's get a visual on the remaining aliens. Let's reload. <laughs> okay. Overwatch. Uh, yeah, B. He, he was using a shotgun. Admittedly, he was a little closer than you, but... Not really much of an excuse, man. I swear to god, an alien is gonna jump out of one of these buildings. Just fucking massacre us all. Oh god. Where are they? On the roof, okay. And they're overwatching. At least... At least they can't... HOLY SHIT! HOLY SHIT! WHO EVEN GOT HIM?! You just both just turned up instantly and just fucking dead! Well... <laughs> shoot and kill! Jesus! Um, okay Magpie... You cover this corner. Okay, he did? Okay, that's good. Ah, there he is!
Um, where was he? Since I'm so done with these aliens. was He was right, right around here, right? Pretty sure he was. Let's go for it. Going out. Got him. I just I cannot afford to have KXE die. I just won't let it happen, man. It ain't me. Okay. Keep moving forwards. Same for you, Slunky. You should be able to just zip up to here. I think all the aliens are dead now. Not positive, but I really don't know where many more could come from. Okay, Z. You keep with this guy. Enemy forces headed your way, so ah, they're spawning. Of course. Right next to Magpie. Okay. This could be bad if Magpie doesn't get the kill. But I trust her. Come on, Magpie. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. 89% chance to hit. That's right. Oh, Magpie. You fucking... Gosh. Rat shit, bat shit. Camera, please. Yeah, you were just sitting there, waiting for something to happen. He's upset that he died. We can make a Hank Mark II. It's okay. Uh, Alright, Mr. B, it's time for you to redeem yourself. There you go. Tell him sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Alright, dude. Thorn, can you get... He can get to the extraction point. Okay. That's called a good thing. I'm gonna have you, Slunky, run out ahead, make sure that there's nothing waiting to trap him. Let's just run and gun, just to be safe. This is probably a mistake, but... Okay, and then we overwatch. So turn, turn. You better run. Where are you taking me? I demand answers. But you will get your answers. Kill any remaining aliens. That means there's remaining aliens. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. Where? We have a new objective. Where are they? I don't have time for this. No, don't abort the mission. Continue mission. What? Why did you say abort? Yeah, you're out in the open, but it's okay, since you're on Overwatch. <laughs> All the way back to the dry cleaners. Okay. That was a little spooky with that extraction zone stuff. So, question of the day, where are the aliens? Everyone should just overwatch. Yeah, not surprised. That would make sense. Let's overwatch, and then if nothing happens next turn, we can reload. Since I can't really do anything until I know where they are. Um, okay, KXZ reload. Yeah, this can be the reloading turn. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. We're green to go. Back in. Slunky's been a probe all along, and that's why his accuracy is so good. Okay, it must be inside somewhere. There he is. Okay, come on, Mr. B. It's your time. 
Holy shit! Well, there we go. Executed to the numbers. You redeemed yourself at the end. And you know what? I think that might have been our first mission without any operatives lost. Actually, no, we did have one other one. So now, hopefully panic has decreased across Australia. I'm saying these things really weird. Oh, everyone leveled up. KXE's in trouble. Okay. So plus 5 defense per enemy in sight, or plus 10% critical chance. Defense, man. Mr. B. Bullet swarm or hollow targeting? Huh. I think probably bullet swarm. Magpie is still a support. Not oh, too late. Already chose it. Covering fire or sprinter. She should be a medic medic. I'm sorry. I'm choosing what looks good to me. And slanky. Yeah, I don't know why anyone will get the critical chance thing, since it's it's such a little tiny increase to crit chance. Whereas defense, defense is life-saving. Alright, continue. And we got a sergeant. Or a support. Alright, who should the support be? Keith Wilson, nicknamed Santa. Right, yeah, I know what it does. But I'm I'm happy with our accuracy so far, considering how shitty our gu our guns are. See, I prefer the being able to shoot twice in a turn. Or being able to shoot them move, or whatever it gives me. Um, so, let's pick up... Oh, I can get the nanofiber vests. That's going to be helpful. Let's pick up the medikit. Okay, the scopes... Wait, is there not a research project? I realize our okay. have to put their own survival first, but... Every alien we use oh my god, shut up. One less opportunity to recover new shut up. Effects. Um, barracks. How is Nananan doing? Nananan is still in fucking grave death. Uh, oh, right, right. So, you know what getting Santa means? It means that we can now, officer training school, get squad size one. Which means we can have five people. Um, yeah, scan for activity. Xenobiology unlocked. I think that's what this is. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. What? Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. Thanks, old man. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? Can we get Slunky's opinion on this? He's one of the soldiers. We may be able to communicate. Oh shit, sorry sorry if you guys just heard a buzzing. I may have accidentally been buzzing the mic. I'm very sorry if that happened. You just get over here. Possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not Alright, Shlunky has spoken. Not to worry. I will see to that. Alright. I'll speak to the commander. You're speaking to me right now! I guess I'm just sort of drifting around the room. Okay. Alien containment can now be constructed. Good for it. Arc thrower. Oh, but weapon fragments. How fast does that go? Not very. 
Only two women? What? I expected that would be a priority research task, Commander. I'll begin allocating resources to the project immediately. Oh. Yeah, that's very true. Well, hang on, let's check the barracks. We've got Adriana Boss. She's got bird hair. Single until we give her plastic surgery. Okay. So yeah, field. What is that? I'm not sure, I didn't recognize that flag. And field medic. Alright. Now I think we're good. Sweet. What can I... can I make anything? I can make another satellite, but I don't want to waste my money on that. Uh, build facilities... how much more do I need for the uplink? Still need another engineer, that's great. Guess we can build alien containment. Work crews are on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Good for you, Dr. Shen. There we go, view abduction sites. Alright, a sergeant sniper, that could be nice. And it's an easy mission. This is also an easy mission. I don't think panic is a thing anywhere. So four scientists, 200 bucks, or a sergeant sniper. Um, hang on, let me check. Let me check the situation room. Okay, so Asia's a, Asia's a little bit panicky. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling Sergeant Sniper. Asia and Europe are the only panicky ones. And I don't think that any of these missions are in either. Argentina... nope. Nope. And no. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking Sergeant Sniper. But then that means not in Anani is going to be out of a job. <laughs> yeah, I'm Sergeant Sniper. Definitely don't want to do that one, though. Yeah, Sergeant Sniper makes the most sense. Oh, hey! No, 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 it's back on the job. I was not paying enough attention. Yeah, that's true. Okay, because he's still wounded, so... Let's have Space Squirrel join the parade. Um, and then Brodowski, customize, not customize, sorry, loadout, you start carrying around that there medikit. Alright, and launch mission. Oh boy, here we go. Begin assault. Oh, I think I like this map. Okay. So, Mr. B, you take point. Most important thing right now is everyone getting into cover. Slanky, you can go over here. Um, Space Squirrel, aka just Squirrel, uh, you can go over here. With Slunky, the Skull Helmets can cooperate. And not at a nod, you can head right here. And hunker down. Okay. So where's that alien activity? It's not there. Let's go here. Camera, please cooperate. Jesus. Okay, it's not there. You two join up. Oh, there they are.
Uh, no, Space Squirrel is a rookie. Or recruit, or whatever it is. Alright, nod and nod. You cannot shoot any of them. Where are they, even? Stop that. Okay. Um, you can dash... Dash up here, I... Mm, no, dash up there. Yeah, you can still shoot them both. Um, uh, Space Squirrel? Space Squirrel, go up there. And Overwatch, in case those aliens decide to try to move. And then, Slanky, you can go over there. As long as they don't combine their fire on a single person, which they are clearly not going to do, we're going to be just fine. Where is he going? Oh, I don't like that guy. But hey, if we can take this guy out, game over for the other one. Damn, Mr. B! You really want to redeem yourself right now, holy shit! Yeah, and then let's, let's just... Uh, let us just... Uh, where, what do I want to do? You can just chill there for a second, actually. Magpie, let's get an overview of the area. Wow, nothing. Um, okay. Let's just hop down here then. Alright. Overwatch. If Spest Squirrel could get a... If he could get a kill, that would be awesome. Since then I think he'd level up. Um... Not in Anon, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing there? That's not how gravity works. That's not how physics get down from there. Not in Anon, this is why you die. Uh, okay, hang on. First off, let's have you go over here, actually. Not a nun, what are you doing? <laughs> he just he just can't decide where he wants to be on the ladder. There you go. Okay, yeah, you just there, I guess. And hunker down. Alright, Magpie, you can just duck out over here, if shit goes south. There they are. Uh, seems sort of... Please! Not in Anon! Yes, we have seen the aliens! Good lord, your character is so mentally deficient. Oh, guys, I don't think we're alone out here at this UFO crash site. Oh, I hear the aliens you just saw. Goddamn, man. <laughs> and then, of course, forgetting how ladders work. Uh, you can probably you know, dash up here. They don't have grenades yet, so... Slanky, you can move up there. As can Space Squirrel. And then not in the nod. Um I suppose that you can move over to this outhouse. Thanks, Don and Nod. I forgot where the where the aliens were. Oh, I see they're buffing each other. 
Who's he gonna shoot? He's probably gonna shoot. Oh no, he's shooting magpie. And missing. Is that all you got? Okay, he can't see them. Who's the only one who can see the magpie? Okay. Or see it, rather. Alright, if we follow the trail of his thingy med shiver. Where is this guy who's buffing him? Okay, three damage, that's perfect, since now not in the mod. Who's a little bit behind in the XP department, he can just switch over to his pistol and zip on over here. And then... Boom, boom, boom! Oh god! That gun, holy shit! Physics, please, not a nun. You are like a walking inverted black hole. You do not like physics, and physics does not like you. Alright, Space Squirrel, you can move forward. And you found nothing. How very human of you. Uh, okay, just you two, right? Yeah. So there is still that other alien up there. Mr. B, you can just... Oh! Oh, you saw him for a second! Where was he? It's lucky you might be able to get him. This running gun over to the spot where Monsieur B saw him. It was right there, I think. Yes. Where is he? 1% chance to hit. Okay, let's try the pistol. 33% chance. A little bit better. Oh my god! You actually got him! Where's he going? Okay, then. That's a bit concerning. Oh boy! Hello! Um, let's hope it crits! Yes! Another day, another successful oh yeah! And not in and on has leveled up. He's a sergeant sniper now. Two sergeant snipers! Now, yeah, Jesus Christ, Slunky! You're the one carrying the team! Oh, Mr. B! Mr. B, you have a nickname now. Okay, Shredder Rocket. That could be nice. That could be... Okay, I could actually see myself using the rockets then. But then Suppression's nice, too. Oh, man. Someone who's played this game, which is better? Suppressor? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. And not an Anon. Oh, he's not a sergeant, he's a corporal. Ah, both of these are really good. I, I prefer squad sight, though. Since later on, once I get a jetpack, then shit gets fun. We will be in touch, Commander. But Santiago Moreno, he can be our battle sniper, our no scoper. Yeah, they're both really good, which is why it's good to have two snipers. Abilities. Um, snapshot. Hmm. If he's the running... Well, okay, on one hand, he's the running gunner. On the other hand, he's not going to need his pistols. So... I think two bonus damage would be good for uh, not in the non, but not so much for this guy. Since here he can run up onto something high and then shoot. Yeah, I prefer this. 
Okay, well, I've been going for almost two hours, and it's getting pretty late here, so I think I am going to have to call it quits. This was fun, though, and I'm definitely looking forward to adding even more people and resurrecting good old Hank from the dead. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to do this again sometime soon, maybe even tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, see you guys around. Good night.